Welcome to non-toxic time remains time of stream. A guide about how to play versus Darius. Alright, so to play against Darius, first let's talk about the runes. We get a phase rush, Nimbus Clock, Stellarity for triple boom speed runes. Highly recommending that. Scorch is optional. You can get a gathering stone or scorch or even water walking. And uh, Reverence Hunter is necessary. Chip shot is also optional. You can get a taste of blood if you want. But I like to get a chip shot more for more damages. Um in this specific match that is. Rune set can be a 10% attack speed, 9 AP, and 15 HP. 15 HP can be an armor. The flat armor is also possible versus Darius. But I don't really worry about Darius hitting up damage to me because he doesn't really deal damage as long as he doesn't grab me. As a first item choice wise, I started with the Doran's Ring here because I'm not really scared of a Shivaina. Um, let's say if they have a Shaco or Pantheon Shinzao type of aggressive jungle, then I'd have started with the Boot Star. But as they have a Shivaina jungle, which is a really, really weak jungle, so I start with the Doran's Ring. I, I even put the uh, first ward on here instead of uh, placing on this spot because Shivaina's gank is so weak, and I don't expect her to be coming top anyway because there's not much that she can do about it. Alright, so that's uh, the basically items and then rune setup for Teemo versus Darius. So we basically kind of poke him every time that he comes for CS like this. He uses a Q like that just to splash damage on a minion. Um, so I poke him whenever he comes for it. Just like that. Auto, auto Q, auto, auto Q. Yeah. For Darius's case, he should have started with the Doran Shield. Also, he could have gotten a Celerity too. So right here. I go for a kill. I really thought that I could have gotten a kill, but I ended up missing. This was really close. 20 HP left. Yeah. So instead of me pushing this entirely, I base. The reason is, the next wave will come in and it's going to get frozen around here. If I stay, if I stayed and tried to push all the way, then the Darius would be come back, coming back to top. I was expecting him to get a boots. So he'd be able to run through me, but he didn't get it. But he, if he had the boots and I only have a Doran's Ring, then he could be able to run through me, as, especially he has a flash over me. I used a flash ignite last time. He only used a ghost to run away from me. So I took the base. Iron Ganks takes Darius' flash out. So good. Okay, and farming. Just keep farming. 44 CS versus 20 CS. He's got some CS to work on here. Okay, this one, we're gonna have to walk around here. So, I placed a control ward here when I came back to top, but I don't have any ward here. This is Darius' ward. So, I push all the way. I'm not, I'm not, I wasn't, I had no idea Rel was around the top or not. But if the Shivena comes, I'm, I'm okay with it because she doesn't have any crowd control. But Rel does have a crowd control, so that is a little bit dangerous for me to uh, place myself here. He missed the grab. I propped my face rush through Darius, right? So, I'm really fast. And I also have a boots. Rel has a boots too. I use an ignite on a rel just so that I get more move speed through a Nimbus Club. And so I zoom away. She did not land anything. So I get out. So that took my ignite out. Rel trying to delete my control ward by denier. And that happens. While that's happening, since they have a two people in the top, our Ivern was able to get a free dragon. Very nice choice. For Darius in this case, he should have started with the Doran Shield, but he started with the Doran's play, so he got a Doran Shield now. Now he goes on to me, grabs me, and I die through this. I cannot run this way because uh, Viego just came through top. And that's the second gank the team has received. So I get a Boots of Sydney's first and a Recurve. I think that was a kind of mistake. Um, I usually grab a Boots of Sydney's by that time. But um, I didn't have it because I started with the Doran's Ring and I based it a little too soon. Yeah, I should have uh, based. Anyways, I get a red buff from the Ivern's passive. And just keep fighting him around. Shivena came to top again. Deletes my ward. Actually, this is her first time who came. And then we are fighting around the uh, Rift area. And then I'm trying to join up to that. There is already joining yet too. And then he thought, oh, Timo's gonna come here. So he goes on. And I'm like, I back up, auto. Flash is on. Q auto, I ignite the Darius. And then I flash this Q. And finish the Darius. And then we won the Rift Herald fight. 
Although she may not took the rift at all. And then the first item that I get is Nature Suit. Yeah, I highly recommend Nature Suit pretty much almost every single matches. But Darius Smash, you don't really have to worry about the defensive stat. If you do worry about it, then you can get a one arm guard. Uh, well, arm guard is actually too much too. I think a cloth armor is good enough. Yeah. So I keep poking him. He uses a ghost, right? But I can easily get away by using this corner, the shroom. And he gets another hit by another shroom that procs the phase rush. But I'm deleting this ward. So he just used a ghost. Okay, we were able to not get wrecked by that. But this one, I get hit by uh, his grab, so I use my phase rush to run away. So this is why we get a phase rush. Yeah, if we ever get hit by the grab, we gotta use our phase rush to run away. Their Viego was consistently trying to roam to the top side because he actually won the mid lane versus Blackbeard 2-0 to 2, uh, 0-2 while keeping the even CS. So he's just keep hovering around this side. That kind of makes me a little bit unsafe in the top. Every time the Viego is missing, I kind of have to back off. He misses the grab, kite, kite, and then lower down to about 30% HP. I got hit by one third shot though. Viego comes up again, gets hit by the trap, and I walk away. A lot of uh, a mid lane pressure in this game. But if you just pay attention and then place the traps on the right places, like especially this corner, highly recommending, and then this bush, uh, one of them if possible. We were waiting on the other side. 4 to 13, pretty one sided. Yeah, especially Valley, we're winning pretty hot. The Rel has left her lane. Again, Rel is top. Now, there is the Ghost. I see it. I see the Rel. I just flashed. Flash gives me more moon speed too, using a Stellarity rune. Darius uses a flash too. If Darius had a Stellarity uh, and Nimbus claw also, like me, then he could have caught up, I think. But he doesn't have that. Fortunately. So that's a ghost flash for the Darius. And I just took my flash and then Alistar comes in. We pick up the Darius. So that's generally all the lading pace. Um, I finished my nature suit. And usually the first I core item that you get, that's when the lading base gets over. And the fight's happening here. Uh, now I decided to just push the top. Because even if I join the fight, maybe I could get a one kill, but I thought that this turret was more, worth more. And I could hit for a second turret too. I mean, inhibit turret. Lower down as much as possible, about to half HP. And then base. So Darius got like a two kills out of that. After Darius gets a strike breaker, we have to be very cautious about it. Because he gets like a, a lot of mobility as in slow. That item. Um, so in a team fight, you can decide to group or not depending on what it's looking like. Usually, I group nowadays because group fights are way better than split. Yeah, because damage to the champion is just so high nowadays on every single champion, even team with us too. So there is his goes on to me. So right here, I right here, this is what I want you guys to pay attention. I just dodge this hook. So the way it works is that when Darius goes on to me, so Darius can hook this way or this way, right? So I give him the decision. Hey, you got me pretty good. Now you have a hook ready. I'm gonna run this way. Now I'm, I'm telling you I'm gonna run this way, right? I walk this way. And when he's about to hook it, I turn right away to the top side. And that way we can dodge his hook and then get away. But then I end up dying anyway. Because what you're about to see. Six flashes and he uses W. <laughs> yeah. But anyways, uh, we end up winning the game on, on this one. Uh, I think what I could have done better is I should have gotten a source shoes. Yeah, right here I got a one cloth armor. 
Instead of that, I should have sold us uh sold the CFTs and get our sword shoes. Yeah. I'm not sure if I had money for it. I think I had. So anyways, we win the fight and we won the game. That's about it. So nowadays as a as the late game wise we do group as much as possible. Because we can kill the champions too easily. Yep. And and we can just easily force the fight too. They can easily engage it. Yeah, especially Darius using a Ghost Flash and a Strike Breaker. So I have to be always, if possible, group with the team. And win off for the key fight. So that's uh, how we play versus Darius. The rune setup, item setup, and the late game. Mythic item wise, we choose either Ludens, Tempest, or Leander Anguish. If their jungler was a tanky jungler, then I'd have gone Leandry Anguish because Darius becomes tanky, their jungler becomes tanky, I would do a person HP damage with Leandry Anguish. But they were all squishy other than Darius. I guess a relatively tanky, but uh, I didn't really get a Leandry Anguish just because of her and Darius. So Luden's Tempest works against the pretty much three of these champions, or actually even including the uh, Rel. Luden is better versus squishies, and... Leandre is better versus tankies. So we won the game and that's how we play. Dibish. Juice.